So I would like to show you how to drill in your um, carrots, okay? When you handle food for the public, you need to make sure you put gloves on. And these are the plastic gloves, and you can find them um, in, in the grocery store. Or if you want to, you're more comfortable with the one with like elastic, sort of like um, the one they use at the dentist's office. You can do that as well. And this is all you do, you just kind of put it in and use it. But for the purpose of video, I want you to hear what I have to say, because these make a lot of crunchy noise. All right, so just know that when you're out, you need to wear them, but for here, I'll show you using my bare hand. So, first of all, you need to just peel this. You can peel it either way, however you do it. See? And you have to do it as fast as I do either. And when you finish with that, I want to make sure you use my knife and kind of just nip this on the top here and then the back here. Cool. Put this aside because this is going to go into a trash bin later. And this is our pro slicer come in extremely handy. See, you just hold on to the carrots like this. Or if you have daikon, the same thing. And actually, this is one of the tools where you actually can talk and working and not cutting yourself. All right, so here you see how fast it is. And what I do, you don't have to do this. I tend to rotate my carrot, but you don't have to as well. And or if you don't feel stable enough to hold it like this, you can always put it out down on a chopping board and do this as well. So there's many ways to do it. And you can see, I'm drilling this really, really quickly. And these will go into our salad later. And um, yeah, I would recommend that you do this in front of, um, of the audience for the cooking demo. Can they see how the slicers are being used? And they will, uh, they will love it. And I think that they probably could tend to purchase them. Now, I already have the Julian, um, the Julian carrots here. What I want to do, uh, pretending again, I have gloves on, all right? So you do want to make sure you put them on here. It's beautiful. Now, you can always say, if you happen to do this during the summer, and most people do grow some kind of mint, some kind of herbs in the yard in the summer, what you want to do then to tell them, if you have some mint, basil, cilantro, put them in here, they are absolutely wonderful. It makes the salad taste even better. And then, this is our mandarin orange. This is the first one that we're going to be featuring that in a way what we do something with. So you just pretty much show them you drizzle over and you use more or less. If you want, I would recommend they use no more than maybe about um, a third of a cup. All right. And that's it right there. Now you have a salad um, for your cooking demo.